So I get a ton of questions asking me how I grow my natural hair, how I grew my natural hair, what do I put in it, a ton of questions dealing with hair growth. And in January, I'll be six years natural, so I feel like I have a bit of experience when it comes to the whole natural hair thing. So I came up with five tips to hopefully help you guys with your hair growth journey. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing on my list, and I think it's one of the most important things when it comes to natural hair and growing out your natural hair, is patience. Patience is key when it comes to natural hair. You have to understand that growing your hair out takes time. It's not going to happen overnight. Honestly, you have to figure out your hair. You have to figure out what it likes. You have to figure out what works for your hair. And honestly, if you have a ton of hair like mine, you need patience to deal with it on a daily basis because it is not easy. So patience is key. You need a ton of it when it comes to dealing with natural hair. The second thing on my list when it comes to helping you and growing out your natural hair from my experience is stop comparing, cut it out. Stop comparing your hair to Sally around the corner whose hair is down to her ankles because she's only been natural for two years. Stop comparing. Your hair and my hair are completely different. My hair and my sister's hair are completely different. So everybody's hair is not going to be the same. So stop comparing your journey to other people. And the reason why that is on my list it's because I've struggled with it when I first became natural and what it caused me to do is look at Sally's hair over there. And if your name is Sally, I'm sorry, I'm just using a random name. But if you're looking at another girl's hair over there and wondering what she's doing to help her hair to grow, all that is is taking the focus off of your own hair journey and causing you to do a whole ton of things to your hair that is probably doing more damage than good. So that's why I say stop comparing and also it's a mental thing. It's not going to have you happy about your journey. It's going to make you sad if you start comparing to seeing all these girls on YouTube, seeing all these girls on Instagram and you're wondering why my hair doesn't look like that. I've been natural for such and such years. Don't worry about them. Worry about you because at the end of the day, they're not with you when you're detangling your hair. They're not with you. They're worrying about your own, their own hair. And you need to worry about your hair so that way you can embrace your journey and you can pay attention to what your hair needs and you can also just enjoy it. What's the point of starting a new lifestyle change or continuing a lifestyle change and you're not enjoying it? Don't compare. Get out of your head. And that's that. The third thing on my list is find a regimen that works for you. For you. Everybody's hair is not the same. What may work for me may not work for you. You know, when I first became natural, there was this whole coconut oil thing going on. And I started to use it. And my hair was like, whoa, fam, like, this coconut oil is not working. I didn't like it. All it did was make my hair shiny. And I've used it in so many different ways. Not saying that it didn't help. Coconut oil did help my hair a little bit. But olive oil... Me and olive oil and my hair are like this, like for real. And I may say that to somebody else and they may have a finer hair texture and olive oil may just be too heavy. Their hair may just be like, you know what, this is a little heavy, let's go back to the coconut oil. I know I'm joking, but what works for somebody else may not work for you. So you have to go out there. You can watch all the YouTube videos you want. You can watch all the Instagram videos you want, you could scroll all you want all day, every day, make it a lifestyle. Your hair will not react to watching somebody else use a product. You have to go out there and experiment. And what helped me, honestly, is finding out what ingredients my hair reacted to. So that way, I can go out and look at the back of a product and say, hey, this has this in it, so I know my hair is going to react well. Go on YouTube, use YouTube as a guide. A guide. Don't use it as your go-to for every five seconds for things. Because like I said, you can watch us all you want, but until you go out and experiment with the products on your own hair, you won't know what's going to work and what's not going to work for you. So you have to just go out, go ahead and experiment, 
build a regimen around that and see what your hair likes. The fourth thing that personally helped with my hair growth is figuring out what kind of natural you are. What does that mean? Okay, with me, I love blow drying my hair. I, like I said, I'm about to be natural. I've been natural for five years. It's about to be six years. So I've experimented and honestly, what my hair likes, my hair likes being in braids and my hair likes being blown out. There are certain styles that my hair just doesn't react well to. I wish I could wake up and do a wash and go every day and somebody around the corner can do wash and goes every day. That just may be their thing. The reason why I said it helped my hair to grow is because it helped me stop experimenting with so many different styles. You're starting to see that a lot in the natural hair community. You're starting to see a lot of girls out here who are trying so many different things, trying to keep up with the Joneses, and it's causing their hair to break. So if I already know my hair likes blowouts, I'm not going to go ahead and straighten my hair every five seconds because another natural is doing it. That just may be her hair. And the same thing with me. Just because you see me doing blowouts doesn't mean you could do the blowouts because maybe your hair doesn't react well to heat. Figure out what styles and what natural you are. I call myself blowout natural. I love big hair. I blow out my hair more than I'll do a wash and go because that's just what works for me so figure out what kind of natural you are and honestly I will tell you that will cut out a whole ton of stress when it comes to figuring out a regimen figuring out what your hair likes and all of that good stuff alright so the fifth thing on my list is what are you made of alright what does that mean you are what you eat Okay. A lot of people do not put enough emphasis on this type of lifestyle and they don't put enough emphasis on how much the two connect. You have to see what you're eating. Are you drinking enough water? Are you getting enough nutrients that your hair needs, that you need so that way your hair can just go ahead and flourish? You have to figure out what you're doing. You may be doing everything right. You may just go down the whole list that I did and you're like, you know what, Christine, I'm doing that and I'm still not seeing enough hair. Figure out your health first before you go out and worry about why is my hair not down to my ankles. You're worrying about whipping your hair and you may have something whipping on inside and you don't even know what's going on. That was a little corny, but I still said it anyway. You get the drift, okay? <laughs> about what's going on in the inside so that way the outside can flourish and look good and grow hope this list helps you and I know this list was more of a mental thing than it is an actual product thing but I'm not going to sit here and lie to you there is no miracle product that can give you and say here use this for six to eight weeks and your hair will be down to your ankles there's no miracle product or miracle regimen that I can give you to tell you and guarantee you that your hair is going to grow and I feel like in the natural hair community we have to be realistic with these things. We have to be realistic and know that it takes patience, it takes time, it takes us to put down the phone and stay off Instagram and stop comparing, it takes us figuring out our own hair it takes us figuring out our own journey it takes us figuring out a ton of these things so that way it can make our process easier and we can pay attention more to our hair and if we're showing love to our hair our hair has no choice but to show love back so I hope this helped you all peace and love to all of you guys out there and I'll see you guys in my next video bye